Imagine finding hidden mineral treasures beneath the earth, not through guesswork or some outdated methods, but with the power of artificial intelligence. Today, we're diving deep into how AI is reshaping mineral exploration, and perhaps more importantly, how our beautiful continent can position itself to lead in this new era. Welcome to Mining 901. I'm Abu Rengui, and I'm incredibly excited to share this topic with you. Before we jump in, let me give you a bit of background about myself. I've been in the mining industry for over two decades, starting my journey as an exploration geologist and later taking on roles like technical services manager, resource geology and exploration manager for uh, listed companies. I was also a competent person for mineral resource estimation with BHP Billiton and South 32. Along the way, I pursued postgraduate studies in geostatistics and honed my skills in mineral resource estimation specifically for gold, manganese and coal. That combination of hands-on fieldwork and technical expertise, I believe, gives me a unique perspective on how tools such as AI can help us transform the exploration world. Exploration and resource geology is a personal thing for me. I have seen the challenges geologists face every day, and I know from personal experience the immense potential that AI has to help us tackle those challenges head on. So how's AI rewriting the rules for mineral exploration across the continent, in South Africa, in Zambia, in DR Congo, even in Nigeria, and maybe I shouldn't forget Ghana and their amazing gold reserves. I think AI is tackling or helping us tackle age-old challenges from incomplete data sets to human bias and the overwhelming volume of geological data that geoscientists work with every day. Let's think about it. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, but the haystack in this case is the size of a continent and it's forever shifting. AI changes the game by processing or at least having the ability to process massive data sets and identify patterns that no human could spot. Barring one or two of those uh, geos at the mines with 30, 40, sometimes 50 years of experience. AI and its role, it's not about replacing geologists. It's about giving them a powerful co-pilot. It's probably the best way to think of it. The AI tools as a whole enable geologists to ask smarter questions, different questions. It allows us to optimize drilling locations, prioritize the most promising areas. It's really like adding a superhuman partner to your exploration team. So what can you do today? You're sitting at the mine, you're thinking, uh, I know one way of doing this. How can I incorporate AI into what I do? If you're a geo watching this, you, yeah, you are wondering that. In my view, there are three things that I think you can do today. The first one is to get familiar with AI tools. Many of these AI powered platforms are already accessible. Most of them are free. For instance, tools like Leapfrog and Micromine are widely used across the continent for 3D geological modeling, data analysis, resource estimation, and reporting. These tools integrate traditional geological data with advanced algorithms that help us create accurate subsurface models. The second thing we can do is to find ways to work smarter with legacy slash historical data. Chances are 
Your operation has years, and I mean years, decades of historical data just sitting idle. No one wants to go and dig up those boxes, say. Eh? AI tools such as Goldspot can help us breathe new life into these data sets by identifying patterns and opportunities that you may have missed or the previous geologists may have missed. The third thing which is always important is for us to find ways to collaborate across disciplines. AI thrives when geologists, data scientists, engineers, surveyors find a way to work together. Start conversations with your team about integrating AI into your workflows. Even just taking small steps like automating routine tasks can free up your time for higher level problem solving. So less processing, but really more applying your mind to the more strategic aspects. In Africa, uh, from what I've seen, we are seeing some incredible applications of AI tools. I've already mentioned LeapFrog, which is a 3D modeling tool that allows geologists to visualize subsurface geology in real time. It's widely used for resource estimation, and I've seen it being used increasingly for planning purposes. Micromine is another tool. In my opinion, one of the easiest tools to learn, but uh, also a very versatile tool. It offers a suite of tools for data analysis, for modeling, and pit optimization. Uh, maybe the last two tools I'll touch on are uh, OneSequent, which is a tool that helps integrate geophysical, geological, and geochemical data to give us a holistic understanding of the subsurface. But the last tool I want to mention is DRX Systems by Objectivity. This AI-powered tool optimizes drilling programs, helping prioritize the most promising drill holes to save costs and reduce environmental impact. These tools are helping companies across the continent in, in mining jurisdictions, whether it's in South Africa, it's in Zambia, DR Congo, and other jurisdictions. They are helping improve accuracy, reduce cost, and accelerate timelines, particularly around exploration activities. At the same time, I've seen some of these tools unlocking some sustainability uh, opportunities. So is Gen AI, which is a subset of AI, the next frontier? In my opinion, Gen AI takes things to a whole new level. And unlike traditional AI, which analyzes existing data, Gen AI can help us create new content, whether it's 3D models, simulations, optimized mind designs, just imagine using generative AI to, for example, simulate extraction scenarios and optimizing mine designs before you drill. Imagine using Gen AI to predict environmental impacts and plan eco-friendly mine closures. Or maybe you can imagine using it to develop personalized safety training programs for workers. Gen AI is not just a reactive tool, it's proactive and it's enabling companies to shift from a trial and error approach, which we've relied on for many, many years, to a data-driven decision-making approach. So what's my take? When I think about AI and generative AI, and I think about where we are, I have to say, I think first of all, as a geologist, uh, who started his career 20 years ago, before many of these tools existed, I can't help but feel a bit envious. I'm jealous of you guys who have the opportunity to use Gen AI tools today. Back in the day, I must tell you, I lost countless weekends manually building wireframes in Datamine 2. If I could get back all those hours, who knows what else I could have achieved? I guess we'll never know. And now I'm sure at this point I sound like a, a grumpy old man. Today's geologists are in a much better position. 
they have access to incredibly powerful tools that not only help us or them save time, but also provide insights uh, that we couldn't dream of back then. And by back then, I mean five, 10, 20 years ago. It's really exciting to think about how these advancements can propel uh, our continent into hopefully a leadership role that I believe it deserves in the global mining space. We can do so much more with less time. And for me, that's a game changer. Gen AI or AI uh, in a broad sense can help us get ahead of the competition. Let's be honest, mining is a fiercely competitive industry. So to stay ahead, companies need to embrace advancements such as AI, not as a nice to have, but as a strategic priority. So maybe in closing, this is how I think companies can outpace the competition. First, invest in your talent. You can either hire or upskill professionals who understand both geology on one side and data science on the other. And if you're a young geologist and you come from a geology background, I think it's worth your time to do a bit of data science to see how you can merge those two fields. A team that speaks both languages, in my view, will unlock AI's full potential. The second thing that I think companies can do is to leverage partnerships. Collaborate with tech companies and startups uh, specializing in AI, uh, not only for mining, but AI as a whole. You'll be surprised what you can co-create. This can fast track innovation and reduce implementation risks. Adopt a forward-thinking mindset. AI is not just a tool, it's a mindset shift. Companies that integrate AI into every stage of exploration from data collection to decision-making to planning and evaluation, I think we'll see the biggest returns. Our vast mineral wealth as a continent makes us at least uniquely positioned to lead this revolution. By combining AI with the experience that we have and the expertise that we've developed, I think we can unlock our resource base in ways that are sustainable, efficient, and globally competitive. AI is, whether we like it or not, it's transforming mineral exploration. And Africa has the opportunity to lead this charge. From tools such as Leapfrog, Goldspot, Minesight, Datamine, to the groundbreaking potential of generative AI, the possibilities are endless. But this is not just about technology. It's about how we choose to use it. Are we building a future where mining is not only profitable, but also responsible and inclusive? That, I believe, is the challenge and, at the same time, the opportunity that lies in front of us. That's all for today. What do you think? How can Africa use AI to unlock its potential? How do you think we can use AI to build a sustainable future? I would love to hear from you in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to Mining901 for more insights, more interviews, more conversations around innovations that are shaping the future of mining. Until next time, stay sharp, stay curious, and let's keep exploring together. Take care.